Hi, I'm Guru Santiago and this is episode one. So today we're going to talk about the electron. And I'm sure you guys probably are saying, oh man, this is really going to be boring today. Well, let me tell you something right now. I'm not too happy. Mother Nature is really messing up my day. Can't sit outside next to my banana plants. I'm stuck in here having to deal with, you know, being indoors and not enjoying a nice sunny day outside. And uh, I do have a drink this time, but, you know, it's just coffee. So uh, let's get moving on and uh, see what uh, we can learn about electronics today, starting with the electron. But before we get into that, I want to point something out. So the first video, I just wanted to introduce you guys to what this is all about. And I got some interesting feedback. Here's one. What a snore job. LOL. That's the kind of stuff I'm getting back. This is one from a, a long time buddy of mine. He and I worked together years ago. He quotes, that's me in a dark lab, falling asleep. Ha ha. Good luck, buddy. I got to get my boss to let me have that drink in the lab. Well, you got to do what you got to do, right? So uh, I think uh, our journey is going to be pretty interesting since uh, we really don't have any boundaries here. I'm going to try to follow uh, a path of uh, teaching you guys electronics, but it's probably not going to be your standard orthodox path because I might jump around. I know that people watching this video are probably not all at the same level. So um, what I'm depending on you guys to tell me is what it is that you wanna know next. I'm gonna work on my own path because it's what I find to be fun. And uh, I might have to take a break to fill my coffee cup up. You guys probably have to do the same thing, maybe get some more tequila, who knows. But uh, let's get started today. Today we're going to talk about the electron. And uh, I know a lot of people don't really want to learn about an electron. I mean, there's just, uh, you know, a lot of complexity there. So uh, just to give you an idea, here's, uh, here's the uh, periodic table of elements. And uh, just looking at this, it's probably, you know, kind of scary. But... Uh, we're not going to be too concerned about all these different elements. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about why the electron is important. And uh, we've got a stack of books here that you could go through and you could uh, read and, and maybe fall asleep. Uh, so, you know, since it's morning time, we really shouldn't be reading this stuff. You don't, you don't want to go back to bed. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you a, a, a quick demonstration of... Uh, of what an electron is. And, uh, you know, I don't have a real fancy uh, uh, scanning electron microscope, so uh, I'm going to use some uh, props here that I have to kind of demonstrate what the electron's all about. Before we get into that, uh, I want to talk about charges. And I don't mean on your credit card. I mean, uh, you know, when, uh, when two uh, objects have a different charge, they tend to attract each other. And when two objects have uh, the similar charge, then they repel each other. And uh, that is the basis for how um, an atom basically uh, works. An atom consists of three particles. There are two different types of particles in the nucleus, and then there's a different particle that uh, basically orbits around that nucleus. So the two particles in the nucleus are known as protons and neutrons. Uh, neutrons have no charge at all. They're neutral, just as their name states. Uh, protons, they're positive. They, they have a great charge, a positive charge, and uh, they cluster together with the neutrons and they make up that nucleus. Okay, so around that nucleus are, uh, are these electrons. So let's say... Uh, Let's say this is uh, my nucleus of uh, neutrons and protons. Well, uh, out here somewhere is uh, an electron. We don't know where it's at. Uh, in fact, if we try to look 
close enough to see where it's at, it's going to jump somewhere else and we won't know. Uh, the only thing we really know about the electron is uh, that it's negatively charged, okay, so it, so it has a tendency to be attracted to the nucleus. And uh, there are some forces that we're not going to go into that, that govern all those details. But the idea is, is that this electron is moving around this nucleus and sometimes he might leave. And another electron may come by and come through here. And the reason I mention that is that in electronics, everything we talk about in terms of uh, current and voltage has to do with this guy, the electron. And it also has to do with the materials that we're using. So there are usually two types of materials. Materials uh, come in the form of insulators that don't allow our little electron here to move about very, very easily. And then uh, we have uh, conductors. And so conductors are materials that allow allow that electron to just zip right through. Um, so to give you an example, um, things like uh, wood and rubber are, are, are insulators. And uh, other things like uh, aluminum, copper, gold, most metals are, are conductors. And so uh, these electrons that uh, I spoke about uh, rotating or orbiting around this nucleus um, every now and then they have the tendency of, of, of jumping away and orbiting a different nucleus. And uh, if you were able to take any type of matter and, and look at it very, very co closely, you would see that these atoms are packed next to each other in a particular way and uh, the electrons that are present around each of these atoms um, on, on, the, on the outer orbits of these atoms tend to bond these atoms together. But every now and then what happens is, is uh, one of these atoms uh, loses an electron and uh, that, that frees up a space for another electron. And those uh, spaces that, that are free, we call them holes. And electrons tend to jump from one atom to the next when there's a vacant space or a hole in an atom. And as they jump from atom to atom, what happens is, is we have what's known as current flow. So our little electron here with a negative charge doesn't seem to want to stay still. He's constantly in motion and uh, he's uh, always packing his bags and moving on. He doesn't ever uh, stay too long in one place. So he's really important and uh, he's the reason we have electronics and he's the reason why there's electricity. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks a lot. And uh, make sure you keep having a good time, having a nice drink, having a good atmosphere. I'm Guru Santiago. Thank you.